Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Invin. Today I am bringing you guys a Swiss class setup. Now this gun has had a buff in the most recent update to Call of Duty with Season 3 Reloaded and so a lot of people have been using the sniper. Additionly, the attachments for snipers have been overhauled so the 5 milliwatt laser now increases ADS speed and we also have the new sound suppressor which is going to be the fourth attachment on the muzzle instead of the GRU or the agency suppressor there or the monolithic from Modern Warfare and this gives the guns a bit of a different spin. So we're going to go over the class set up for the Swiss today as this has been buffed and a lot of people are liking the feel of it it's a very quick very nimble sniper a lot of damage so I'm going to go over that if you are not subscribed already to the channel make sure you do go down below press that big red subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bells on so that you don't miss a single upload and if you do go on to enjoy today's video make sure you drop it a like down below as well as that really does help me out and let me know in the comments if you're liking the Swiss or not some people are still prefer the car 98 but a lot of people are saying that the Swiss could be the new meta sniper so let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below and let's jump into today's video. So first things first here, we'll just look at the actual buff that the Swiss received. So the Swiss got a flinch resistance greatly increased buff, an ADS speed slightly increased, and an aiming stability increase. So essentially what has happened is it's become a more stable, quicker ADSing, and better flinch resistance weapon. So what we can do here is have a look at the attachments that we are rocking on this weapon. We've got the sound moderator. Now this is where the new attachments are coming into play because the sound moderator is the brand new one that we received with the update a couple of days ago. And as you can see here, it's got sprint to fire speed increase, bullet velocity increase, ADS speed increase, and sound suppression, obviously. So, the only thing gets rid of there is aiming stability. Now, really, this is used for close range, more aggressive builds. So, it's up to you what you want to put on. You can either run this, or if you have it unlocked, the Gru suppressor or the agency suppressor, whichever one it is on this weapon. You can go ahead and throw that one on if you're going to be playing more long range traditional sniper build. But if you are going to be going for more quick played heavy assault sort of aggressive play styles the sound moderator is going to be far far better for you because it's going to make the gun a lot more quicker and nimble so you're able to get around get those quick scopes get those headshots really really quick downs and maybe even switch on one weapon maybe you've got the mp5 like i have here you're going to spray someone crack them switch to the sniper and crack them or crack them first with the sniper and then switch guns really really good to have with a secondary weapon here so fantastic i would recommend the sound moderator but try out the Gru suppressor on this one as well and see which one you prefer you then want the combat recon barrel with whichever one you go for because obviously this gives you the bullet velocity so you've got a better chance of it feeling like a hit scan weapon definitely recommend that one swap five milliwatt laser again because this is the new updated 5 milliwatt laser that we received in the season 3 reloaded update now this gun gives obviously ads time with this attachment now Laser visible to enemies and aim walking moves be slightly reduced, not by too much to be honest, and the ADS speed that it gives is really, really overpowered, so you definitely want to have that on. It's going to be a super, super fast weapon, so definitely try that out, and so that's one of the things that's making it really, really fast paired with the new sound moderator. We then got a fast mag on for a magazine, obviously because this doesn't affect the ADS speed, even things uh, that you can have the 7 round if you want to, um, I've just gone for fast mag because it's personal preference, but 7 mag works. Um, Stanag, you get reduced ADS, same with the 7 and same with the Salvo 9 fast. So I would probably just recommend either the 7 or the fast mags, um, but not the 7 round fast. Just because of the ADS reduction. So it's up to you which you pick there. Now on this one, I haven't got it leveled up quite to the level that I want yet. So I've just got the SASR jungle grip on, which does reduce slightly the sprint to fire time. But not by a too negligible amount, which is nice. Uh, we've just got a little bit of flinch resistance added there. And we've got the ADS time, which is really, really good. If you've got the required level, which I think is 43 for this one or 44... You're going to want to whack on the Serpent Wrap just for that extra ADS speed. So it's going to be as quick as it possibly can be. But if you're wanting a bit of flinch resistance as well, then this is the one for you. The SASR Jungle Grip. Now, I've gone on and put the uh, Roman Standard attachments on. But it doesn't actually give you any of the ones that you want. So that's the weapon variant I'm talking about there. It doesn't give you any of the attachments you need. So don't worry if you haven't got tier 100. I just think it looks nice. So I've got it on because you get the gold sort of accessories around the side there. One thing you could do, like I say, is change this Gru Suppressor out if you are going to play it more long range with this weapon. That would be a really good play. And if you are doing that as well, you're probably going to want to throw on the 7 round opposed to the normal fast mags. Because you're going to want to have more shots in case you struggle to hit some of them with it being a further range gun. 
You can also swap out the jungle grip if you want to maybe get rid of the grip. You can, although the grips are really, really good for ADS time. But if you're going for a slower build, you can maybe swap that out and potentially put on the Raider stock, which would be quite nice. Gives you a bit more ADS firing move speed. You can kind of sprint to fire up and walk in move speed. So all that stuff where you're going to be strafing while ADS trying to hit those shots is going to be slightly better with that one. And if you have got this variant, look how beautiful that Raider stock is on there. That's crazy good. So you can always put that one on if you wanted to play for a more slower paced gun with this build. Um, but it's up to you entirely personal preference how you're going to use the weapon and what you are feeling like with it. Just for reference as to what I'm using it with, throwing it in with an MP5. But the MP5 from Cold War is super, super good at the moment. I've then got on the class here. You're going to want EOD. You're going to want Overkill. And you're going to want Amped. Obviously, you can change out the overkill to a ghost class if you want to run a pistol with this one. So maybe uh, dual psychos, the new pistol when it comes out. The Amp 63 could be a shout. Again, stay tuned to the channel because I will be making a video as soon as that is released. Letting you guys know what it's like. As far as we can tell so far, dual wheel is going to be really good. Single fire pistol on the Amp 63, not so great. Similar to the Psycho when it's single, but dual wheel is going to be good. Again, pairing it with a Thermite and Harby Sensor. Entirely up to you guys what you want to rock there. But this sniper is doing absolute bits after its buff. It's doing a really, really nice job of being a very fast, very aggressive sniper. It's going to get you a lot of kills very, very quickly. So definitely try it out and let me know in the comments, like I said, what you're thinking of the Swiss so far this season. Other than that, thank you very much for watching today, guys. Make sure you do subscribe if you're not done so already. Drop a like on the video and take care for the rest of the day. Peace.